Getting even spacing between holes in the edges of your workpiece involves a little bit of calculation. So in these motion pictures, I'll explain as simple as possible how you can achieve that. The plank is 40 centimeters and will have five holes each with a diameter of 2.8 centimeters, which totals 14 centimeters. We take the 40 centimeters and deduct the 14 centimeters, which leaves us with 26 centimeters remaining space. We divide the 26 centimeters with the number of sides. Five holes will have six sides. This gives us 4.3 centimeters. This is what the space between the holes and the edges should be. Now we need to figure out where to make center marks for the holes. Hole 1 gets half a diameter of 1.4 centimeters. The first hole should be marked up at 4.3 centimeters plus half the diameter of 2.8 centimeters, which is 1.4 centimeters, to even out the lack of a hole at the edge. This gives us a total of 5.7 centimeters, which is where the first hole should be marked. The remaining holes gets a hole diameter of 2.8 centimeters on top of the 4.3 centimeters. Now we take the first distance we added and add the next distance on top of that to find hole 2. Then we do this for all holes remaining. All hole centers are marked up. Now once the 2.8 centimeter holes are made, there should be equal spacing between all holes and to the edges of the plank. And there we go. The holes are evenly spaced out widthwise. If they were actual holes, they would be centered in the middle of the plank, so ignore that lack of height centering for this example. Let's try another example before doing an actual demonstration. Now let's space out four squares with a larger diameter on a longer plank. So first we take the plank length and subtract the total diameters. Then take that sum and divide it by the number of sides, which in this case is five. Now we have the space that should be between the holes and the edges. For the first hole we take that sum and add half a diameter, or radius as it's called. Then we have the position of the first mark.
The remaining holes will have the 4.68 centimeters plus a hole diameter. Now we have all the information needed to calculate the mark distances for the remaining holes. So the second and the remaining hole mark should be marked up 9.58 centimeters after the previous hole mark. That's a wrap. All holes are evenly spaced out. These two numbers could swap position to make it even more easy to understand. After the first hole, just take that mark spacing and add the distance spacing, which in this case was 9.58 centimeters. For this practical example, I'm gonna make a tiny dowel gate, and I'm gonna calculate how many dowels I need to get my desired spacing of around 10 centimeters. The beams are 61 centimeters long and the diameter of the dowels is 2 centimeters. To find out how many I need in total, I'm just going to do some calculations and see where that takes me, then adjust it from there until I get the desired spacing. First I'll try to see what the spacing ends up with if I were to add 7 dowels. 7 holes will have a diameter of 14 centimeters. Then we deduct 14 from the length of 61 and we are left with 47 centimeters. We then take those 47 centimeters and divide them by the number of sides, which in this case is 8. We then get 5.8 centimeters spacing between the dowels, which is way too little. Therefore, fewer dowels are needed. Five dowels get us closer to the target, so let's see where we end up if we were to use four. Four dowels gets us pretty right on target, but I think it's going to look sparse with just four. So I'll go for 5 instead with 8.5 centimeter spacing. Both beams have a center line now, so the next step is to calculate the hole marks. All holes are marked up, so I'm done with the math and ready to make this thing. Before drilling with your main drill bit, make some tiny pilot holes first so the larger drill bit stays where it should when you're drilling. Otherwise it can move around before it gets hold of the wood and your hole won't be fully centered anymore.
and that is how you perfectly space out holes and make a simple gate. Ignore the frame gaps and twists. I used old bent material I found by the shore and handsawed it. You can also find the formula for spacing out holes in the video description. Thank you for watching.